Hi, my name is Jack Hartley. I'm the owner of Homestead Senior Care, Valasa Thomasville and Tifton. Today I want to talk to you about the second most common reason a person winds up in the emergency room or a senior citizen winds up in the emergency room. Number one is medication problems. The second one is by falls. And falls can be prevented just by looking around the house and finding things and looking for things that may cause potential fall. Removing trip hazards from the floor. If there's anything in the floor that might cause them to trip, you need to pick it up and put it away. Remove all throw rugs, especially if you have hardwood floors or floors that uh, uh, are of laminate or hardwood so that those will not trip them or they will not slip on them. Remove furniture in high traffic areas. If you're using a rollator, a walker, a wheelchair, anything, um, removing some of the furniture make it easier for them to get around. Put padding on sharp edges of the furniture that has real sharp edges because obviously if they fell and hit the furniture without that pad there, they might end up with, a, with quite a, a nasty injury. Add handrails along staircases and hallways. Uh, again, if you have a staircase, uh, you need to put a handrail if there's not one there. On the hallway would be helpful if they're walking down a long hallway. It'd be something they can lean on and, and use to stabilize themselves. Remove casters from furniture. Furniture that can roll would definitely cause a trip hazard. And, and, and we've had people uh, walking around the house using the furniture as a, a resting place and then the furniture moved and they fell. Add grab bars next to the closets. This is when they're standing, trying to get their clothes out or something, have something they can use. Place colored non-strips along the areas where the floor changes. So if you have different heights of floors, you put some type of uh, identification there to show that the floor, remind them the floor changes at this level. Uh, remove any unstable chairs that might be in the house. Uh, place, place wrist loops on their cane, and this is where it would hold their cane uh, from their hand. It wouldn't get away from them. And the last one is make sure that chairs and bedsides are, are, are easy to get in and out of. You can lower the bed by sometimes cutting off the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the footing to make it shorter. I hope some of these help because falls are a major problem for seniors and anytime we can prevent someone from going to the hospital, it'd be of great benefit. Uh, let me know if I can do anything for you. My number is 229-563-5123 or reach me at jack.hartley at homestead.com. Thanks for listening.